Right, so it's not going to be easy going forward there. But bankers are also going to be extremely careful just where and how much money they now dole out to big corporates for their big plans. Now, in this scenario where credit gets really squeezed, what happens to expansion plans then for corporate India? Nisha Poda reports. The class may soon start wilting for companies, say bankers. Interest costs for corporates start to spike following RBI's decision to raise their rates. Along with rising cost of capital, corporates will soon be faced with skeptical bankers who now expect promoters to pump in more of their own money before they get their big bank projects financed from banks. Earlier way we used to fund probably uh, projects, infrastructure projects, especially at a debt equity of uh, 4 is to 1. You would find now that, you know, probably the bankers would say 4 is to 1 is no longer okay, it needs to be 3 is to 1 which means that we a greater commitment from the promoter to meet a part of the cost of the project. And that is where, you know, the whole thing arises as to what is the strength of the promoter to meet his commitments. India Inc.'s borrowings could be up to $700 billion in the next five years. But now that bankers have lesser money to lend, they will be more choosy and cautious. In fact, bankers are already asking companies to reduce the debt component of the financing needs and balance out the debt equity scenario, which banks currently feel is skewed towards debt. India Inc. has stretched the debt equity ratio to 2 is to 1 over the past couple of years. But banks now want companies to bring it back down to more comfortable levels of 1 is to 1. Add to that, interest costs are expected to rise by almost a percent and banks are no longer willing to lend below their benchmark rates, putting core sectors under heavy pressure. For the blue chip companies, expansion plans will get necessarily uh, put on the back burner, but I think that costs of funds will obviously go up. So to that extent, uh, you know, um, returns that one would have expected earlier would probably be lower than what uh, was envisaged. So suddenly if the situation is changing and a lot of money is required to be put in, then particularly in the present context of uh, very difficult market conditions, uh, it will put a lot of pressure on the uh, industry to arrange uh, equity and then uh, kick off those projects. So it is a dampener for the investment climate uh, going forward. The banking and interest rate scenario has changed dramatically over the past one year, causing double whammy for the corporates. First, credit availability is more difficult, interest rates are higher, and even the bankers are getting more demanding. So probably it means that the corporates should go back to their drawing boards and rework their strategy on capital needs and expansion plans. In Mumbai, Nisha Poddar for NDTV.